Alright guys, welcome back to Son of Scotland 90 we're going to be playing our first ever game on FIFA 2022. But yes, instead of me playing the career mode first and getting absolutely tanked, I figured we'd play an exhibition. I figured that we'd do the Edinburgh Derby. I figured that we'd do Hearts, Felsies, Hibs. But what I'm thinking about doing is, I'm actually thinking about going Hibs. Because I'm going to be going Hearts in the career mode. And I kind of want it to feel fresh when I play the first game. Therefore, I am going to go Hibs. I am going to, yeah, it feels awful. But don't worry, I'm not going to win. I'll probably get tanked about 5-0 here. But here we go. Hearts versus Hibs here. My first taste of uh, FIFA action. We're going to be playing on, I wanted to pick Ultimate, but I think Legendary is the highest you can play on um, on Exhibition mode. So it is what it is. Anyway, let's go. Let's get stuck in here to this game. Let's see how well we do. Full match coming. Uh, skill moves to go. Uh, I don't know what my skill moves are going to be like. Oh, I've just got past him. It wasn't the greatest bit of skill, but we've done it. And I've shot the wrong way. What the hell is that all about? Shocking stuff right there. But here we go. Hearts versus Hibs. I think you are so. Ivy Lane even. Close enough. Close enough. Here comes the players out. There's my, looks like it must be Michael Smith. You can recognise that beard a mile away. Here comes the Hibs players. There's the Hearts fans with their scarves waving in the air. And that is what the league table looks like. Looks nice, doesn't it? Seen Hearts up there in third place. I'll take it. You know what? Probably could be even higher. If we're being honest, probably should be leading the way. Best defensive teams, Hearts, joint with Selic. Keep in mind, two of Celtic's goals they've conceded have actually came against um, Hearts. Although that must be bullshit. That's not taking into account the fact they just lost there against Livingston. So, aye. But anyway, they go shaking hands. Nice to meet you. About to thank you. It was nice knowing you. Going to score about 10 past you. Aye. There's the referees. Hibs get pretty nice this season, to be fair. I mean, I'm looking at the Scottish Premiership kits, and a lot of them actually seem decent. I've, I've no complaints. A lot of them actually look pretty good this season. And uh, obviously we're going with Gordon. Oh, we're not. I keep forgetting we're not Hearts here. <laughs> Hearts are going with Gordon. The Nets, Halliday, Cocker, and Halkett, Suter, Smith, Haring, and Benny in midfield, and then the front three in Mackay, Stevens, Boyce, and Josh Giannelli. Uh We're going with Macy in Nets, Stevenson, Hanlon, Porteous, McGinn, who just earned his first Scotland call up. His cap not so long ago. Newell, Gogic, McGuinness, Murphy, Boyle. And uh, the big man. The guy that doesn't stop scoring. Nick Kevin Nisbet up front. You can see a small, small section of Hibs fans there over in the far right-hand corner behind the goal. So Some fans did make the journey and we're off. And, uh, 55 seconds in. Does feel a bit like FIFA 21, but... <laughs> Obviously, I'm sure things will change. But yeah, at the moment, it's feeling very similar. And we've just lost the ball. Not the greatest start from us. This definitely feels similar. Me, <laughs> under attack. Oh, we've made a challenge, but it looks like we've fouled Josh and Ellie because the referees gave a free kick here. Four minutes in. Halkett, why is the big man taking it? I don't understand that. We've headed it away. Come on. Oh, yes, Stevenson. Stevenson. We're looking for... Who's making the run? Looking for Nisbet. Oh, and Kevin Nisbet's been done in by John Suttle. The big man at the back. Stopping the danger. But we've won it back. Murphy. Genuel. McGuinness. McGuinness. Space opens up. We'll take a finish shot. Nowhere near the goal, but had to try it. So, you, wait, you can rewind? Is that like a flashback? It looks so... I'm, I'm assuming you can, like, rewind to take that again. If so, that's kind of gay. I mean, people will be using that feature all the time. It's a bit of shit, I think, but here it is what it is. Gogic. Looking to come inside. Looking for somebody, anybody. Has to play at Louis Stevenson out wide. Louis Stevenson into... Jamie Murphy, we're going to whip an early ball in. It's not going to get past Suter, and that's twice then Suter's done the uh, done the damage. No letting us through. Defending. 
for his life. Ball to Ginelli. We need to track back. We need to try and stop him getting across in. Oh, he's just McGeady spinders there. Making us look like an idiot here. Can he get the ball off Josh Ginelli at the moment? Somebody. Ball whipped in. It's going to fall for Mackay Stephen at the far post. He could have shot there, but he decided against it. Ball to Haring. Liam Boyce. Oh, and it's a good save for Macy. Liam Boyce in. Got his shot away, but Macy dove down. Got two hands on it. Parred it away for a corner. We're taking care of the corner, but then Hearts win another corner. So, another chance for them to pile pressure on. Ball to Benny again. Halliday. Can't let him score against me. Fuck me. That's when you know you're shite at FIFA when Halliday's scoring against you. Oh, what a challenge that is for Portia, so fantastic. It was going to be 1-0 Hearts there had that went in. Right, Nisbet. Ah, ball played behind Gojic though. Wins, well, apparently he didn't win it. Apparently he's filled him from behind. Oh, it's a straight red for that. Seriously, man. Well, they must have. They must be more uh, strict on the cards this season. I well, win the ball. But apparently, apparently winning the ball doesn't mean shit in FIFA 22. As long as you, if you, if you come near the man, if you if you come within five metres of the opposition player, it's a red card now. All right, good to know. Good to know. I'll fucking try not to breathe around any of the Hearts players from now on in the remainder of this game. Right, Stevenson. Oh, yes, he's played through Nisbet. It's a good ball as well. Nisbet. In towards Stevenson. Oh, he's put it wide. Gordon probably had it covered. Not the greatest shot in the world for Stevenson, but it was a good attack there. And, uh, yeah, just putting it wide. Opportunity to score the opening goal in this game. Not taken. Still remains Hearts nil. Hibs nil. In the Edinburgh Derby. And, yeah, I feel like I'm actually getting to grips with this game pretty quickly. But I don't really feel... I don't feel a massive change, to be honest, from FIFA 21 to FIFA 22. It feels a little bit slower. The players seem a bit more clunkier, perhaps. The pace isn't as... Um, Frantic, is that, I don't know if that's a fair estimation, it's Mackay Stevens though, Mackay Stevens, we can't touch him, it's, a oh great save for Macy, should be 1-0 heart so, no doubt about it, but yeah, no, the pace definitely seems like it's came out the game a bit, players just seem, I don't know if they seem more bulkier or, I don't know, they just seem, it seems a lot slower, it's the first, that's probably the only thing I've noticed at the moment, and obviously, <laughs> You can't touch anybody or get a red card. I noticed that straight away as soon as we made that challenge. which was, It was a good challenge, to be fair, but apparently not good enough. Right, McGuinness. Can't get to it. Just struggled him off the ball there. Why not? Barry McKay Stevens it back to Halliday. Hearts passing it a bit pretty well. We can't seem to get the ball at the moment. Obviously, it's going to hurt us having 10 men. But here, 32 minutes in. I've yet to concede. I'm pretty impressed with that. Oh, but Boyle almost absolutely done this. But it's a good save from... Um, it's a good save from Macy. What I have noticed is the keepers are actually making saves that I don't think they would have made in last year's game. And I hope they have made it harder to score. I'm all for that. Because I think last year, I mean, it felt like the AI could shoot. And they would always beat the keeper, even at the near post. It felt like the keepers conceded a shitload of goals. So I'm hoping it is harder to score. But speaking about scoring, it's Nisbet. And we'll put it in the back of the net. I don't really want to celebrate it being a Hearts fan. But here, it's nice to get my first goal in FIFA 22. It's just a shame it's <laughs> it's against my team. And I'm playing with my rivals. But here, a goal is a goal. We'll take it. Boom. It's all about it's maybe a nice saying that the keepers can make good saves. But you ain't going to save that. I mean, come on. We had our pick of the pick of which side we wanted to go for this, but puts it right in the corner. And we take a 1-0 lead there. So yeah. Nisbet, another player. I think has been criminally underrated, if I'm being honest. I think he should have definitely been higher. But for some reason he wasn't. Here we go, new. Oh, I Manuel's mean, trying to slot a pass through. Didn't quite make it. 
But McGinn then picks out Nisbet. Nisbet with a decent touch. It's Nisbet. Nisbet strikes. It's blocked from Suter. Nisbet heads it down towards. I don't know who that is, but he gets it back. Kevin Nisbet. Oh! Oh, he scored again! Kevin Nisbet. What a goal, man! Jesus Christ. Maybe I should do a Hibernian career mode because this is, this is good stuff for me. What a goal. That one is. Pick it out, Craig Gordon. I, I'm saying Craig Gordon should be rated about 74. Could be rated 94 and he's no saving that. What a goal. And <laughs> Kevin Nisbet there smashing it in. Finesses it right into the top bins. Pick that one out, man. 2 0. Hibernian. It looks like I made a great start here to uh, FIFA 22 life. And their hearts are crumbling, man. They've lost the ball again. McGuinness giving it away there cheaply. Nisbet on for the hat trick. Potentially tackled in the box. Nisbet, oh, trying to get, trying to get a bit of space to get the shot away. Didn't quite happen. Oh, Josh Janelli's went through us. He's went absolutely through us. He's got the pace. Oh man, we've made a bit of a mistake there. It's Janelli. Oh, there's a good block though for Ryan Porches again. Or was that Hanlon? Not too sure who it was. Important thing is though. It didn't go in. And you can see the Hearts fans no happy at the break. There's Craig Gordon. He's no happy. He's conceded two either. But uh, we've been the better team here. We've created the better chances. And that is why we're winning. Expected goals. So they've added new stats this year. Expected goals for both teams is two. But we have two goals and they have zero. So I don't know. Is that a combination of more clinical finishing for me? Or maybe Matt Macy's been better than Craig Gordon. You know, take what you want from that. But at the moment... We lead 2-0. And uh, Hearts are going to struggle, I think, to get back into this game. Although, they do have a man advantage, so they do have that going for them. Josh Janelli's just cutting again here. Crosses it in. It's high into the box. We get it away, though. And Martin Boyle, we know he's got pace. And he's not afraid to use it. He's using it right here. Oh, Halliday, though. Just done enough to delay the run. Again, Porches. De Hanlon, passing about pretty well here. Going to work our way out for the back. It's Paul McGinn. Oh, poor pass there. Mackay Stevens with the interception. Mackay Stevens hasn't done anything this game. He's been very quiet. It's back out to Mackay Stevens. We've won the ball again, no, and this time we have conceded the throw-in. Kai Steven throws it to Haring. Haring edges. He comes into the box. Cannot bring him down now. It's Boyce. Boyce finds Ginelli. Ginelli shoots off the post this time. So Hearts coming very close there, but this time denied by the woodwork. And now we're going to try and find Boyle. It's a decent ball, and we've found him. Martin Boyle now can use his pace. Can he get past Cochrane? He's doing a wee bit of a step over. Oh, Martin Boyle gets into the box. Martin Boyle, shot. Oh, and if that went in. Oh, my God. If that went in, hearts would have been broken. They'd have been shattered into a million pieces. But you know what? It didn't. Maybe I should start taking it easy on my club. I don't know. Devlin's coming on for Haring, though. Hearts then, they make the first substitution. The first to blink in terms of the substitution game. And we'll see if he can make a difference. He needs to because his team's trails by uh, two goals to nil. So... He needs to do something. It's Benny to Boyce. Benny to Boyce. To Ginelli. It's... Oh, no, it's Boyce. Oh, what a save for Macy. Jesus, right. Hearts should have at least had one goal by now. Matt Macy's having a great game for us. Oh, but he just about heads it off the line. Jesus. Hearts can't score. We almost scored for them. Unreal stuff. Right, Newell. To Boyle. Boyle, number 10, what can he do? He's going to twist and turn and... Oh, he's been, he's lost the ball. He's been dispossessed and it's... Mackay Stevens again and we're, we're getting run ragged here. I think you can notice the uh, the man advantage. And Boyle just smashes that one, falls in his arse while he's doing it. And Hearts are back in this. It's 2-1. Finally, they get the goal and it's well deserved, especially second half. They have created it more than us. And uh, they find themselves back in the game then and McGinn falls and just gives the ball away to Boise Boise gets bet past Porteus <laughs> 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 
back to Porteous. Finds Boyle. Oh, nice wee trickery for Boyle. To Nisbet. Oh, out to McGinn. McGinnis. Why is, why is everybody down here? What the fuck is this? We're having a party at the corner flag, man. It's a wee bit early to be uh, throwing a celebration just yet. <laughs> the game is far from over. And now it's Devlin coming forward. It's Boyle through to Ginelli. Hanlon's tracking back. Hanlon's been done in there. And, oh, he finally gets the ball back. Careful not to give away a penalty. Oh, and Boyle's through. And Boyle is through. Martin Boyle, he finds Kevin Nisbet. Nisbet. Out to Murphy. Murphy hits a first time cross and it's it's not the greatest. And the cross is blocked for coming in. But it's a poor clearance for Gordon. He's not had a great game. Nisbet to McGuinness. McGuinness! Oh, and Gordon makes the save from the finesse shot. Greg Gordon making his... I don't know if that's the first save, but it's the first time he's looked comfortable making a save. Oh, it's now trying to rebuild. Definitely. Not got long left here. Passing the boot, but they need to sooner or later get the ball forward. And there's Ginelli. Oh, Ginelli. Oh, no, it's great. It's great play for Hearts, but it's a great save from Matt Macy, and I don't think Ginelli can believe it. Hearts are making another substitution. Nanuli coming on for Boise. And it's Nanuli. Oh, it's another save for Macy. He gets back up and he saves it. Jesus, there's been questions about Matt Macy this season not being good enough, but he's certainly good enough in this game. He's pulling off all the stops to deny Hearts an equaliser here. Good challenge. Well, apparently not. I forgot. You're not allowed to touch players in this game. Referee gives it a yellow card. And it's going to be a chance. Again, Craig Halkett. I don't know why he's taking this. Ginelli standing over it. Maybe he's going to take it. No, it's going to be Halkett. It's over the wall. And it's wide. Keeper down, you need to worry about it. And there's not a lot of time left then for Hearts. Portes just launches one up. Almost found Nisbet. But Nisbet, I think, actually won the header on it. Trying to get the ball. Oh, almost an interception, right. Ball played out to Ginelli. Five minutes from time. Oh, it's a great save from the keeper again. Ginelli, just don't know what he was trying to do. Maybe dribble it around the keeper, take it around him, but take it past him, but he couldn't. Angelino. Oh, no, it's this time. Surely, Josh Ginelli. It's an awesome save from Macy, but it's fallen for, I believe, I don't know who it is. I'm not too sure who it is. I think it's Benny. Uh, it is Benny. And finally, Hearts back on level terms here. I mean, feel, I feel sorry for Matt Macy. He's had a great game. But he just, there's not a lot he could do about that one. And uh, Hearts in equalise with a couple of minutes to go. And to be honest, I think based on the second half performance, they definitely deserve it. Ball launched over to McGinn, though. We could have a chance to win it. McGinn, looking for Nisbet. Oh, and it's Benny, the goal scorer this time, puts it for a corner. Here we go, Newell. Can he get a good delivery in? It's going to fall for Hanlon. Hanlon crosses it in towards the back post. Ah, what the less said about that cross, the better, man. That was terrible. And it's Hearts now. Not a lot of time here to try and win it. They're coming forward, though. Nandale. Could you imagine if they turn this around? We're a winner in the last minute. Time's actually up. Referee should be blowing the whistle. And he will now. He will now. Referee blows the whistle here for the Edinburgh Derby. My first ever game of FIFA 22. And I picked up a 2-2 draw. I don't think you can complain too much about that. To be honest, maybe if I had 10 men, maybe if I had all 11 men. Uh, oh my god, it's not, we'll end the match as a draw, guys. We'll be fair, we'll end the match as a draw. I think a draw is a fair result. So there you go. That's FIFA 22. That's the Edinburgh Derby. And uh, I'm actually pretty proud of how well I did there. And I'm positive that I can have a good career mode now because normally in career mode, first couple of episodes, I'm getting tanked like 5 1, 6 0, and all that shit as I try and get used to the game. But I played alright there, so who knows? Hopefully I can. I can 
you know, deliver that sort of performance in the career mode, and I think we'll be okay. But anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, until the career mode, peace.